Let's mod a 3DS. We're going to follow along with the NTR boot method, which we can find on 3DS hacks.guide. You'll need any model of 2 or 3DS, an NTR boot compatible flash card, a micro SD card, and a way to read the SD card, and a small magnet. The flash card I have linked in the video description comes with all three of these. And you also want the SD card from your 3DS system. Something to keep in mind is if you're using the flash card that I recommended, you're going to skip this first part of the 3DS hacks guide and go straight to the second part. First, we'll go to Rufus.ie and we'll download the tool. Then we'll plug the SD card in the computer. Then inside of Rufus, we're going to select the SD card. We're going to set it to non-bootable, MBR, FAT32, and a cluster size of 32 kilobytes. And then we'll run the tool. Then we're going to download the firmware files for our flash card. If you're using the uh, one I recommended, you're going to find the link in the video description. Then we're going to open up the firmware archive we just downloaded. We're going to select all the files and we're going to drag and drop them onto the SD card. And then we're going to eject the SD card and we're going to put it in the flash card. Then we'll put the micro SD card back in the flash card and we're going to flip the switch up to put it into 3DS mode. Then we're going to take the 3DS's SD card out and we're going to put it in the computer. If you're setting up a brand new SD card, go ahead and set it up the exact same way that we set up the previous one. But if you're using an old one, don't run Rufus on it. And on 3DS Hacks.Guide, we're going to see these three files. We're going to go ahead and download all three of them. And on the last link, it's going to take you to Luma, which is going to be this file right here. We're going to grab the safe B9S installer.firm, and we're going to put it on the root of the SD card. And then we're going to rename it to boot.firm. Then we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call it boot9strap. Then inside of the boot9strap zip we downloaded, we're going to grab these two files here, and we're going to drag and drop them into the boot 9 strap folder. Now we're going to eject the SD card and we're going to put it back in the 3DS. So for this next part we're going to take this little magnet here and we're going to find the sleep sensor on the 3DS. Now if you have an old 2DS you have a manual switch for this so you don't need to follow this step. And on this old 3DS XL if I put it down right about here it's going to find the sleep sensor and when I remove it it will uh, well not think it's asleep anymore. So now I'm going to power down the console. I'm going to make sure the flash card is inserted in 3DS mode. So this next part's going to be tricky and it's going to take a couple attempts. Uh, we're going to hold start select Select X, and we're gonna move the magnet into place, and then hold the power button. We're gonna do all of this for a few seconds here, and uh, after well, a few seconds, we're gonna release. And if all goes well, we're gonna boot into the exploit. And just like the guide said, it did take several attempts, but I finally got it to boot in. Next, we're gonna input the button combo. It shows at the top there. And after this completes, we're gonna press A to continue, and we're gonna hold the power button to force it to shut down. Then we're gonna put the 3DS's SD card back in the computer. With the 3DS's SD back in the computer, we're gonna to go ahead and delete the boot firm file and then inside of the luma 3ds zip that we downloaded we're going to go ahead and grab all the files from there and put them on the root of the sd card then we'll eject the sd card and we'll put it back inside of the 3ds at this point we're done with the flash card so we can set it aside and when we power on the 3ds with the sd card back in it's going to boot into luma we're going to go ahead and leave everything at their default settings and we're going to press start to save and reboot next we're going to power off the console and we're going to put the 3ds's sd card back in the computer and on 3ds hacks guide we're going to find these two files we're Go ahead and download them. We're going to copy the finalized ROM FS and we're going to put it on the root of the SD card. Then we're going to go inside of the Luma folder and we're going to go inside the payloads folder. If we don't have one, we're going to create one. And then we're going to take the X finalized helper and we're going to drag and drop it inside of the payloads folder. Now we're going to eject the SD card and we're going to put it back inside of the system. Then we're going to power on the 3DS and we're going to go to the system settings. We're going to go to other settings. We're going to go to the last option that is there and we're going to select system update. And we're going to connect the system to the internet and download the latest firmware. After the update, we're going to press the left shoulder button, D-pad down, and select at the same time to open up the Rosalina menu. We're going to go down to miscellaneous options, and we're going to select dump DSP firmware. After that's complete, we're going to press B, and we're going to select nullify user time offset. And then we're going to press B a few times to exit out, and we're going to shut down the system. And while holding X, we're going to power on the system, and this will boot us into God Mode 9. We're going to go ahead and press home, we're going to go down to scripts, and we're going to select finalize. And we're going to press A to start the process, press A again, and we're going to do this button combo that it uh, presents us with to start the process. And then we're going to press A one more time. Now it's going to make a NAND backup during this process which we're going to copy onto our computer to keep it safe. Once the process completes we're going to press A to power off the device and we're going to take the SD card out of the system and put it in the computer. Then if we go inside of the GM9 folder, the backups folder, we're going to see all of these different backups. So we're going to make a copy of the backups folder somewhere safe just in case anything ever goes wrong. And after you've made a backup go ahead and delete that folder to save a little space on the SD card. Then we'll eject the SD card and put it back in the 3DS. And then when we power on the 3DS, we're going to see all these presents, which are the homebrew that we just installed. And now we're modded. Be sure to check out some of my previous episodes if you want to see some cool things you can do with your newly modded system.